What's happening guys and welcome back to our channel. When it comes to investments, Peter Lynch has certainly put the world in awe with his clever strategies and smart methods. Peter Lynch has certainly outperformed the market. So here are 5 ways that Peter Lynch teaches us to outperform the market. Number 5. Key Points to Remember The amateur investor probably can follow between 5 and 8 companies. While investing, many people tend to commit many mistakes that inhibit them from becoming the very best. However, with Peter Lynch's key points, you can certainly move forward in the stock market. One of the most crucial things to remember while making investments is to be aware of some ground rules of investment reality, some of which, according to Peter Lynch, are as follows. Number one, not every company succeeds. One of the most dangerous things uh, people say about stocks, uh, uh, here's a good one. If it's gone down this much already, it can't go any lower. First of all, it's important to note that companies that perform well are most likely to give you the best returns from your investment. There's no denying the fact that not every company that you invest in will bring you fruitful results. Some companies have shown a tremendous downturn, earning half of what they originally were in the span of 30 years. Therefore, it's important to not think of companies and their stocks as lottery tickets and not make a fool out of ourselves trying to win the lottery. Number two, it's not possible to know the economy. I've always said if you spend 13 minutes a year on economics, you've wasted 10 minutes. In, uh, <laughs> the, uh, and uh, all you need to know about the stock market is it goes up and it goes down and it goes down a lot. And that's all you need to know. Again, it'd be terrific to know what's going to happen to the economy, but I deal with facts. The second point to remember is that playing the psychic in the stock market will not bring the very best results. It's almost impossible to know the exact percentage of interest rates that will go up or down in the coming future. People make the mistake of wasting a valuable amount of time trying to foresee the economy. To take a very logical example, one should consider the recent global pandemic, the 2008-9 financial crisis, and a number of other global catastrophes that caused the world's economy to go down. Despite the many movies made about such disasters, no one could have actually believed that the world would be hit by such a global pandemic as the one in 2020. Hence, it's necessary not to give in to such predictions about the economy as they can never be right. Number three, the history of economy. And first of all, they try and predict the stock market. That is a total waste of time. No one can predict the stock market. They try to predict the interest rates. I mean, this is a, if anybody would predict the interest rates right three times in a row, they'd be a billionaire. While you cannot foresee the future of economy, one thing that certainly helps is keeping an account of the history of the stocks and their falls. Calculations have shown that during a period of 93 years, the economy faced 50 stock falls, which means that once in two years, the market faces a decline of 10%. Number four, invest carefully. If you do some work, do some research, know what you own, look at the research, look at the balance sheet. Well, I, it bothers me that people are, are very dangerous when they invest. This word play the market, that's a dangerous term. Doing your homework before making an investment is one of the most important things that Peter Lynch has emphasized upon. While making an investment, instead of learning about the company's past as well as present, people tend to go with word on the street, which isn't a very wise choice in any situation. While people tend to put a great amount of consideration in the type of car that they want to buy, the same amount of consideration must also be put in making decisions about which company they want to invest in. There are certain things that should be kept in mind before investing in a company such as the P.E. ratio, earnings and earnings per ratio, the current stock price, return on equity and return on assets, and also the net income. In order to avoid taking unnecessary risks, Taking every detail into consideration before making investments is a wise decision and it's one that will help you outperform the market. Number three, don't always go for companies that are at the top. That might take a couple years or they're going to grow for a long time. And you're trying to avoid the companies that are going south. That's how you beat them. Or you find some companies outside the S&P 500. So you're trying to find the companies within the S&P 500 that are doing better. They're going from crappy to semi-crappy to good. An important thing to remember, according to Peter Lynch, is that you don't always have to opt for companies that are going up. However, 
This certainly doesn't mean that you have to go after companies that are declining. What Peter Lynch means is that it isn't necessary that every company in the S&P 500 would grant you valuable returns. The S&P 500 list includes the names of all those companies that have shown significant success and high stock value, but companies that are not in the S&P 500 have greater chances. An example of this is Elon Musk's company Tesla. Therefore, companies that are not on the list of the S&P 500 and companies that are doing fairly well have a higher chance of succeeding, which is why these types of companies should be your target investments. Companies that seem minor don't look like an ideal choice for investment. However, if they're just starting to climb to the top, they're likely to bring you great returns. Number two, investments require patience. This is money you're willing to put in the market and leave it there for 5, 10, 20, 30 years. That's the kind of money you can do well with. When you're investing in stocks, you cannot expect great results overnight. Peter Lynch made it clear that for the people who want to outperform the market, they would need to be quite patient. Returns from investing in stock markets can even take up to 30 years, so if you're not in the position to take that kind of risk, then you certainly don't have to. However, stocks have proven to be more fruitful than bonds and bank certificate deposits. But you need to keep in mind that the more patient you are, the more rewarding the results will be when it comes to investing in stocks. Number one, winners are keepers. Another point you've made, and this is I think particularly relevant 10 years into a bull market, is that I think you said more money has been lost anticipating a downturn than actually in the downturn. Can you explain? So you're gonna say to yourself, do I need the money in the next month? Do I need the money in the next year? Do I have kids going to college? Do I have a wedding coming up? then you're a bad investor. What many people tend to do when it comes to stock market investments is that they sell off their winning stock thinking it's the very best option. However, according to Peter Lynch, the reality is quite different. Holding on to losing stock, according to Peter Lynch, is an effort gone to vain. The reason behind it is that winning stock can actually yield you in thousands more than what you will get by selling them. It would be unnecessary to worry about losing in other spaces as winning stocks can bring you such high yields that the amounts lost would be undermined. Peter Lynch outperformed the market with his immense return of 30% for Magellan Funds. With a vast experience in investments, Peter Lynch is certainly at the top in this field. Following Peter Lynch's key lessons, outperforming the market might actually come easy and it will certainly bring you great returns. So do give us your thoughts regarding all of this in the comments down below. And with that, I'll catch you guys later in another video. Bye now.